what's going on YouTube so here today I wanted to go over some of the new features on the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus so we will get right into it here and we're going to start with smart select so let's get this thing going and smart select is one of the new edge panels that we get in the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus and it says here select an area to capture as an image or a GIF or GIF, whichever you prefer, animation. You can pin an image so that it always shows up at the top. So we will show you what this does. We have a little disclaimer here. Pause the video and read that if you're interested. And we can move this around anywhere we want, resize it, and take a screenshot of that area. Now, once the screenshot is taken, we have the option to extract the text. See, it, it takes all the text out of that screenshot and you can send it in a message or copy it or whatever you want to do. And you also have the option to draw on your screenshot. So I can draw whatever I want on top of the screenshot, which is very nice. It's a lot like the features that we get with the note devices this was actually a staple feature of note devices for the longest time and this is what made the note devices so de so desirable was these smart select features so we will go back here and show you gif or gif whichever you prefer and we'll go into YouTube here and find a video. Here, we'll do this one. So what you do is you pull this up to cover the video and you just hit record. And it will record a short little clip of whatever's playing on your screen. And there you go. I just created a GIF or a GIF, whichever you prefer to call it. Now the cool thing about this is you can draw on these and whatever you want, like it's pretty sweet. So your drawing will show up on top of the GIF. So we'll discard that. Stop this. If you notice, the video still played in the background even though we were editing our GIF. So we will close out of this and next we will show you pin to top. So if I want something to always be at the top of my display, say I'm looking at a website or I'm trying to do a script or something, then I can pin information to the top of my screen and it will always be there. You can turn it, move it wherever you want. So let's say I go into uh, the Google Play Store here. This will show up on top of the app, which is a really nice feature. So that's the pin to top feature. And if you want to get rid of it, you just click and hold and hit the X button. So simple as that. So that's one of the new main features is the Smart Select panel of the Galaxy S8 Plus. You also have Clipboard's Edge, which you can download from the Samsung App Store, our device maintenance. This has been a staple of the Edge panels for a long time. So you can optimize your device from here and make sure everything's running smooth, make sure your device security is up to par and everything. So this is a nice feature as well. And then we have our weather panel, which is very nice also. And to refresh, you just drag down on it and it'll show your, your most recent weather. And also we have our quick tools panel. Now this is similar to what we had on the Galaxy Note Edge with the ruler and the flashlight and your compass that's where this started was with the galaxy note edge so we will just take a little nostalgic look here at 
our Galaxy Note Edge and show you what I mean. So if you pulled up from the top here, oh, sorry, if you pull down from the top, you have your ruler, shows up along the edge, you have your timer, uh, that was stopwatch, this one's the timer, you have your flashlight, and you can also record audio. So it's very useful and it's been a main staple of the edge panels for a long time. I'm glad to see it back on the S8 Plus. So next thing we will go into here is I want to showcase the app management on the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. It'll be the same for both. So when you click and hold on an icon, you can move it around within the app tray without any problem. If you want it on your home screen, simply drag it to the top in the blue area and put it anywhere on your home screen. If you want a new page, drag it to the side. So this is a nice feature of the new Samsung experience. If you want to remove a shortcut from your home screen, long press and click remove shortcut. It's very intuitive and it makes ease of use on this device much better. So next I will show you how to select multiple apps at once and move them around your home screen. So long press and then click select multiple items and simply check the bubbles on each item and move them where you want them. And depending on what square you put it in in your home screen is the order that it will go in. So if I click on this, long press, select multiple, reselect all of these, but I grab it here, it's going to put them back in close to the same order. So that is some of the new features on the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and we will catch you on the next one.